They say if you take a baby elephant and you tie it to a post, you don't need a really heavy rope. Um, it's a baby elephant. It's got strength, but can't break a rope. So you tie it to the rope and it'll pull and it'll pull and it'll pull, but it'll realize that that rope is hot tying it to the post and it can't go anywhere. And as it'll stop pulling because it's like, what's the point? And it'll grow and get bigger and then get big enough to break the rope. But the problem is the elephant doesn't know it can break the rope. So it doesn't pull anymore. It stopped pulling years ago. And so now it's being bound by something that really has very little relevance to it. When it was younger and didn't know the strength it had, it didn't know its potential, of course. But as it grew, it never learned anything different. I see a lot of times in our lives we're like that. Um, we were taught something growing up. And maybe it was something that was taught intentionally. Maybe it was something that was taught unintentionally but at the end of the day it's what we learned we learned that there was this rope that was tying us to a post and we were bound to it see god says that he has come to set the captive free to give us freedom <clears throat> so what he does is he comes and he opens the prison's doors and he sets captives free but a lot of times we have pulled and pushed against that gate for so long that we don't recognize it being open. We don't recognize the fact that what we're bound to is we're actually something we've been saved from and we're not actually bound to it, we're just believe that we are. And it's amazing what belief will do. If somebody believes that they can't do something, I watched a, a movie and I can't remember what it was, it was a, a clip about this um, football coach and there was this team that thought they couldn't win against this other team and he said the coach said don't ever say that you can't you've already beaten yourselves and he took this one guy and he did this thing where the guy had to walk on all fours blindfolded with a guy on his back and he goes how far do you think you can go and he goes oh about 10 yards well he said okay blindfold the guy put the guy and his other guy on his back and said good get going and so he's doing this thing and he's crawling and the coach has him see just a couple more steps just a couple more steps and he goes i can't do it coach he goes yes you can just a few more steps just a few more steps just a few more steps the guy ended up going from one end of the field to the other because he couldn't see that he couldn't do it sometimes we got to get our eyes off ourselves and say you know what god i'm not worried about what i don't believe i can do I'm going to be concerned what you say you can do through me. And if we believe that God is who he says he is, God says, I can use I can use the foolishness of this world to confound the wise. I can use the weak to confound the strong. See, God says, I. it doesn't matter how big you are. What matters is how big I am. So stop believing that you're bound to something that God saved you from. You don't need to be afraid. You don't need to be concerned. You just need to be obedient and have faith. And God will do the rest. Hope that's an encouragement to you. Don't be a baby elephant. Okay, bye for now.